What is good? My dude. Shit. Things weak. Ooh. All right. Wait, 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 wait. What were you saying is weak? The crack or the comment? Skin weed. <laughs> All Sufficient. Right. So, we're back. Full tripod, fresh cracks, fresh rookie drafts, because that's what we're fucking doing. The draft's wrapped up. We can finally get back to rookie drafts. So, we're going to do our uh, our first non-Patreon uh Rookie mock, super flex, tight end, premium, as per usual. How much time um, you got, buddy? It's uh, you know a half extra premium for the tight end, so one point five per reception uh, for the tight end there. Um, and we got a lot of a lot of fun here. Uh, we'll try to keep it moving, not get too bogged down on any one thing. Oh, no, we're gonna get bogged down. Well, you know, at least for the first like eight or ten, I feel like we're we we can roll pretty good. Uh, okay. Definitely the first ten, probably. Yeah, I feel like then like the next. 19 are mixed up, but kind of can, or 19 in total are kind of mixed up, but pretty consensus at this point. And then it gets off the rails. I feel like after about 18, 19 picks, I feel like it, nobody's really figured out who they like where just yet. So mm. uh, we'll get to some of that. Um, and if it runs a little long, we'll rapid fire the end. Uh, so I got to pick, he's got to pick, he's got to pick, and then we'll just alternate. So uh, three guys just picking, bro, just picking. I feel like it's a, just an old, country song just three guys picking mm. no hetero <laughs> we, re- we getting this thing started <laughs> yeah let's roll oh what's going on draft board sound guy yeah where is where's the draft mm. board sound where is it where is let's it let's ride <laughs> fucking Might NFL's gonna copyright us <laughs> real loud that was <laughs> ding <laughs> Roger Goodell somewhere was like yeah. okay. <laughs> alright who's up first I'm up <laughs> Hmm. Jay what Wayne's a, what a shocker roll. guy in control of things is up first. Yeah, let me get the easy the easy pick here. All right, moving on. <laughs> All right, so we're not we're not taking nobody's taking a rich over Bijan. No, me neither. All I right. guess if it was like two QB and for some reason like the sub was like some the running backs stat. were devalued. Yeah. yeah, like but no. Yeah, I mean you pretty much. Just take Bijan unless you're in a crazy full-on rebuild and you want to get the value. And then if you can't get it, just take him anyway and then get it later. Yeah. Um, all right. So who's at the one, two? You. Me? It, I'll take uh, Anthony Richardson. I think that's uh, yep. pretty pretty cut and dry at this point. I don't, yep. I'm don't. i sure there are still people who are taking Bryson Stroud, but I'm going to go for exactly what Chris Ballard said. I'm going for the Grand Slam on this pick here. I could take the little bit safer asset assets, but they both have, you know, some yeah buts to them like we've talked about this entire process. Yeah. So I'm gonna take Anthony Richardson who why can't he do what Justin Fields just did? Uh so uh we had it that way pre draft and Yep. That pick only got stronger. Let's go. So if uh, there's only three of us, that means f- Oh, am I up? Flat floral wallpaper is up. First of all, these are azaleas. Okay. All right. So still floral. Is that the master's edition? It is the master's of course edition. Of it is. Uh, of course. I'm taking, I'm sticking with my film league Val and going Stroud. Okay. Stroud over Young. Does, do you guys have a preference one way or the other? I, I'm, young. I'm, I'm going Young. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I could, I could go either way. I think I got to stick with my man Young. So okay. I'm up next. Yeah. I'll go ahead and take old Brycey Bryce. Good value there at the one four. I haven't. I guess we've only done one one rookie draft, so. Uh, but I, from what I've seen and heard from other people asking questions, Stroud's usually there at the one four. He was there, he was there at the one. I I traded up for him, or I traded for him, at the one four. So, but I saw other rookie drafts where he went one three. So. Yeah, that, so some of those some of them are mixed His up. Sizest a rich. No, I no, I just I think that Stroud fine, has fine. just a touch more rushing upside. Although I do prefer Young's weapons, hmm. and for for now. Yeah, but we've talked about we know how much how quickly that can change. Sure, I mean we're 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 you know slicing uh, little minuscule little things here about yeah. who what where and then really I mean anybody's guess is is you know is good yeah. you know we're it's really tough to decide quarterbacks here. That's why Anthony Richardson feels like you're just taking a little bit of mystery out for your floor. Yeah, um, but will will it? Actually well, are you are, are you taking? Around? I I think you're taking more of the mystery out of the ceiling than the floor. Because I think the floor is just as low as the other two. I, 
I just know I feel like the starting, rushing floor from your fantasy standpoint. Is yeah. I'm talking about from a, like his yes, worst correct. game will probably be like you know 14 points. You hope, right? I, I but just, but at the end of the day, if he's not throwing the ball well, it doesn't matter how well he's right. Running the I ball. mean, you have you have yeah, I, that was I, I trailed off at the end. Sorry. Yeah, he, he obviously needs to you know be good enough to withhold, but he, he should get two or three years here most likely to to figure it out. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so yeah, and I think fantasy wise, he'll be yeah. He'll be good, and I think uh, Richardson's. This, I think he's easily the the one too. Yeah. So I'm I'm not disparaging the pick. I'm just yeah. Just no, I, I think it's quarterbacks. It's I mean shit. In the first round, it's fifty percent basically, and and yeah. maybe even a little below. So I sure as hell don't know as much as those guys evaluating quarterbacks. I just know for fantasy purposes, you don't. I want the rushing. Yeah, um, for sure. Yeah. All right. So who's up next? You, me. Um, I'm gonna take. I think JSN long term is good. Short term, it might be you know a little a little slow to start. Um, I'm gonna take Jamar Gibbs just 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 for some fun here. Okay, switch it up. I don't I don't have a problem either. Which way you want to go there? I like the landing spot contrary to popular belief. Um, and I saw it I, looks a lot better now. Swift gone. I retweeted somebody on there who had the list of fifth round options that weren't picked up from. 20 whatever we're oh at my here. gosh it is all it is a wasteland yeah you know just don't draft any of those guys because <laughs> position positional value or, or something because look at this like shit, come on man like a, it's like only the quarterbacks i saw got picked up and then everyone else is like no yeah. no 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 jerry's right. judy though oh good jerry's right. judy so i'm taking gibbs i got the capital i like the landing spot i think he's awesome no um, cap. I'm not scared. I didn't think that he was going to be a guy who came in and got 20 carries, so Montgomery can mix in there, and I think yeah. Gibbs is going to be. I still think, but I think I think I think Monty's not dead. He does provide some sure. some flex play, especially during bye weeks, and I think he's not dead, but um, he's certainly. I think he's less valuable than he was with just Swift there. Agreed. All right, who you got? I'm sticking with JSN. I've heard some arguments with taking Addison there because of landing spot. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, I'm taking my wide receiver one. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think that's, I don't think I can move off of JSN for any other receiver right now. No, uh, got to Got to stick with it. And it might not week year one. It could certainly be close between him and Addison or Addison, even outscoring him or Zay I, could see or Addison, I could see Addison. I could see Addison easily being the top rookie wide receiver but i think i think jsn will balance back out here you might you might need a minute but then before it's really awesome yeah. awesome and and just a, a machine but it'll come yeah it just yeah it may be a little bit of a transitional period still fine but lock it misses time dk every once in a while you never know what could yeah. happen like yeah for sure so i'm up next you are indeed up sir oh man let's take zay flowers all right. That's that's bold. Fuck Even you. though I heard that rumor was that the uh the Giants were trying to trade up and take him in the late teens. Mm. I mean, I don't I don't think there's any denying the man's talent and I'm I'm not all that much worried about the landing spot as I, we talked about yeah. in the Yeah. I think it'd be between him and Addison for me right there. Sure. Of yep. course. Yeah, Quentin got, you know, jolted back but to electric here. Electric shock back into coherence here. Yeah. Yeah. And uh so he's definitely in there. Um, yeah, I don't love the Ravens landing spot. We talked about this on probably both the recent shows that we put out uh, last week, I guess, by the time this drops. But it's unfair to judge that situation right now because of new offensive coordinator, yeah, totally different mindset, new weapons. And Zay's a, a Swiss Army knife. He can do everything and get this man in space and get yeah. him the ball. Good things will happen. I think I think there's a little bit, a little bit of rushing upside, some screen, short action stuff. You know, fuck that a dot. Uh, let's get him some short stuff. Let's get him in space. Let's get him some screens. And I mean, you know, Odell's there. It doesn't really scare me. Bateman. I think I him, like and, him, him and him and Odell, Odell, Bateman, and Flowers are different. Well, I should say Flowers is different than Odell and Bateman. Yeah, and, and like I think Casey said it on the last show, like shit, next year it could be Bateman and Flowers just crushing, you know? Yeah. So yeah, I like Flowers. He got good capital. Sure. I mean, they all got picked in four. They all yeah. got picked within basically three picks really of care. each other. Yeah. yeah. The capital's the same. Yeah. I'm not splitting hairs. But, but you know, pre-draft, you weren't sure, sure. if he was going to be. I mean, I, I we all said I said that he was going to be a first rounder. There's no way he wouldn't be, but. 
Yeah. You know, you weren't, you know, you don't know until you know. And now, and now you, know, you know. Yeah. I'm going to go Jason. I'm going to go Flowers there at 1-7. So that would be back to you, Casey. He might have just done it because he was looking at Matt's shirt. I don't I don't know. Um, hmm. uh, back to me. I'll take Quentin Johnston here. Uh, it's just <laughs> really? pretty pretty easy pick i think uh at this point i love i love the landing spot i you know i i always like the guy a little bit and I, I i demoted him a little bit through the process but probably not quite as low as everybody else had him i still liked him and then this then he goes to the chargers and and you know you got to be excited about you know herbert and yeah. you know keenan's a little older and mike williams is is oft injured and you know not oft. super not super young either, uh, but they all do something a little different in that offense. And you got a you know Kellen Moore coming over there, giving you a little bit different look on offense. They're going to go for it a lot on fourth down. They don't give a fuck. They're going to pass a lot. Um, yeah, for now until Staley gets fired. Sure, I mean, <laughs> uh, but you know, I, I, the run after the catch ability is is fantastic from Quentin Johnston. You can get in there and and you know you got to coach him up a little bit he doesn't need to be leaned on right away he can kind of lean on those guys and they're in the building yeah um and you know they they both of those veterans do something a little different you know mike could maybe help him get that big bodied uh contested catch my ball kind of mentality a little bit coach him up there keenan allen can get him the ways of yeah you know, i mean working yeah, in those one of the best route runners in, in the league there, right so. so you know not not a bad little mentor program and then you know obviously essentially locked up with uh Herbert for five years if, if Quentin Johnson's good and they pick up his uh, fifth year option here so yeah I you know you can't really get much better than that and you know the tight end situation there isn't super great did they take a tight end right now uh, I'm not 100% sure uh, I don't think so I th- they took the other TCU receiver yeah I um, saw that but yeah they took f- three TCU players but yeah so I mean Gerald Everett back or, or no uh, I believe I so, so. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah he's and, got one more year and yeah, Parham deal I think Parham's a free agent, but I could I be felt wrong. Like the, I if felt it doesn't like work out with Quentin, maybe they just make back. him a tight end. Either way, irrelevant. And he does have the six three, so he beats that six two threshold. Yeah, true. But the weight. Uh, How's that Ras? You know, uh, Ras is strong. What do you got next? Uh, yeah, Addison. This is easy. I was going to consider if you took Addison. Oh, see, yeah, you're right. I would have taken Addison, so I'm fine with Quentin Johnson. I'll stick with Quentin Johnson there. But you're right. I should have taken Addison. It's the easy Addison. Oh, yeah. I thought you, that's why I was like, "Ooh, you're making a little bit." Uh, of a, yeah. I got you. I if got I could, you. I got I, you. I'm bad. loving my I'm team lo- so far. I'm looking at an old draft in front of me, and I uh, figured that Addison was gone. So looking at an old but, team here, Addison. Yes. Like I just said, I think Addison has a. I wouldn't say a pretty clear path, but I mean, he's going to walk in that building unofficially the wide receiver too on that team yeah you're you're correct addison should go before quentin johnson um hit me in the comments they already yeah. did how yeah. can you take quentin johnson yeah for sure well whatever that's good you'll get upset about it say the t and then don't forget uh, the t but you're right i mean quentin johnson should should be you know maybe probably will be over zay flowers for a lot of people um so i think yeah the landing spots also if it was if it if Addison wouldn't have been there, now obviously I know you you meant a little bit of a boo boo. It's okay. If it would have been Flowers or Johnson, particular, I would consider Levis over those two, over Flowers and Johnson. Yeah, I'm just don't love them. It's I'm still getting a quarterback, and getting a quarterback in the rookie draft is the absolute cheapest time to get a quarterback. Sure. Yeah, I mean fifty percent hit rate. Yeah. See, you, you know, the well, point, that's first round quarterback, second round, small sample size. The, the point of doing these isn't necessarily the pick order that w- that shows up on the screen. Obviously, yeah, uh-huh. I would have taken Addison over there. It's the discussion along the way of, of kind of what we're doing. And sounds and like somebody trying to walk back their pick. We here. Know, well, Who's your wide receiver too? I Who mean, you take second. It's it's Zay and, and Addison. I'd, yeah. I'd probably I'd probably split those down the middle in every league if I had to take. You know what I mean? I. I would have said Zay if he would have landed in the Minnesota spot all day, every day. Uh, I think I, I don't think the Ravens spot is as bad as we make it out to be, but I really liked the Jordan Addison fit with Justin Jefferson, and I would have liked the Zay Flowers fit too. And I would have taken again Addison over Quentin Johnson. It's just yeah, you know, it's easily I have J, I have JSN than Addison. I'm looking at a different screen and I figured I just mess that one up. So let's keep it moving. All Who's right, up? so it's up to me. Yeah. And I feel like I guess it's between Will Levis and Dalton Kincaid here. Yeah. Um, so this tight end premium. Yeah. Yeah. Which you know it's kind of against my old my mantra to to do the tight end so early. I mm-hmm. think I've I've just haven't had any luck with it. 
Yeah. Uh, even, but, with, even with fucking pits. Yeah. Jerry's still out there, but it's. I mean, yes, he did have the most yards for any tight end <laughs> yeah, of the rookie, for the, but except for that rookie season. But, but he race. hasn't. But he hasn't. He hasn't lived up to the hype, though. Well, the second season was a bust, and the first season was awesome. Now we're into our third. I mean, he scored one touchdown this first season, so well, broke the catch record, though. No yard yards. Had, had he did have an extra game, a fuck ton of catches too, but <laughs> for a tight end and a rookie tight yeah, end, I'm certainly not worried about Kyle Pitts. Yeah. He's been like the most expensive tight end premium asset fucking going for the last two years and maybe dropped a little this he year. Did. He did. I think he's dropped down to the third tight end. That's all you can hope for. I'm only going to take Kincaid. You're going to take Kincaid. Re- he- 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 he. Now, just so you know, Will Levis is still on the board. Mm-hmm. Not pulling a Casey Myers. Here. Okay. Nah. Why don't you just pull the mock draft up? I got it up there. I'm looking at it. I just Apparently, you're not. I'm, I'm just <laughs> looking at this as... as a mock draft that went of an order of guys. So. Oh, okay. I just never, I, I'm not out on Will Levis. I think you could easily take him here. Want he to be the next guy to go off the board. Maybe I could trade back, pick here and get something, you know, it's all easier said than done. I just, Kincaid seems like his value is insulated. You're not going to be able to get this particular tight end any cheaper than this moving forward, even if he doesn't come out and crush. Yeah, I think you have the, the first year tight end thing. It's, uh, I mean, most of the tight ends you can get at the same or cheaper value after their rookie year, right? Sure. McBride, you probably. Not ones that get drafted in the first round of a real draft that aren't like Hayden Hurst or some stupid ass pick that, that, that you made, though. Yeah. So, you know, there's just so many Gronk con- comparisons thrown I out there. I think those are a bit over. I think those Obviously. Are, for he's, he's not, the, not near Josh the Allen, they yeah. need yes, another pass sure. catcher. He's very dynamic. Yeah. The flex out wide kind of, you know, they needed a wide receiver or they needed they needed a playmaker. They needed a pass catcher. They lost out. For. They missed out on all top four wide receivers right in front of them and then yeah. they kind of filled that need in two ways. They need a tight end and a, and a wide receiver and yeah. boom. Pouring so. out for Dawson Knox. Yeah, yeah, he's he never a show favorite. He didn't here, stink. So. He just never really. He never put it. He never really put it all together. Wasn't consistent. Um, all right, who's up? You, me. I'll take. I'll take Levis. Yeah, I th- figured um, you were gonna do that. It's just quarterback, and that's pretty much the long and the short of that. I yep. mean, and you know, I, have the have the Titans been awesome at selecting quarterbacks? I mean, they took Willis in the third round or whatever. Fourth round. Fourth round or whatever. So. Willis I mean, was a fourth rounder? I think he was third. It does, regardless, doesn't yeah. matter. It was like a free um, swing on a high upside play. They came right in, traded New up. New GM this year, too. Right. They came right in, traded up for Levis. Um, I, I, I don't want to trade sorry, up it for was the first round. round. It was a third round. My apologies. They didn't want to trade up for that first round fifth year option, but second pick of the second round, we'll take them. Yeah. So, you know, I don't. I, I think I heard they were trying to trade up. Yeah, I would assume they just couldn't get something done in the back yeah. end of the people didn't want to do it. Yeah. So, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, I don't hate I don't hate the landing spot. I don't hate Tennessee. I like the way they go about their business. Uh, we'll kind of see moving forward. And, you know, Tannehill could be around for most of the season, which I don't think would be the worst thing for Will No, Levis. I think Levis takes over that starting job by the end of the year. Maybe, maybe so, but I, I think Tannehill being kind of in there as the Alex Smith, which are they really that – how much different is Tannehill than Alex Smith – Honestly. I think Smith is a little bit better passer of the ball. Potentially, but both kind of game managers with some plus athleticism. Obviously, Tannehill is better than Smith, but Smith wasn't the worst. I mean, yeah. when Tannehill had A.J. Brown, he was on fire. Right. Yeah. So I saw I saw a picture of that wide receiver room. Woof. I would I would prefer that that Levis stays behind Tannehill here for or at least Tannehill's in the building anyway. That there I think I think the plan is probably to start the season with Tannehill and then you realize you're probably out of it week 13, 14, and you get Levis in there. Start giving them live rounds. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I think I'm Tannehill's their starter unless he gets hurt. They yeah, don't, for sure. Yeah. That'd be a great organization or, to sit him in. Or out, which could be possible. I don't know that it would be because the division's not great and they're going to be in games. But Yeah, they're um, always in games. So, yeah, Levis. Yeah. Yep. Next. Last pick, 12. I'm going to stick with all the Zachary Chabonet. All right. Chabonet. I don't think that's, I think that's fair. He, he went yeah. in, in the Patreon one that we did that I was looking at that I miss, uh, spoke on. He went 111. So you're dancing I, around that. I saw a, a tweet today from a, a JJ Zacharyson that said that he was the most um, inefficient 
running back with over 100 carries last year. Oh, well. Case just closed. thought a stat. I just yeah. thought it was an interesting it. stat. I just it thought that. I just thought it was an interesting stat. It is. It is. I know this is I know this is basically a a um uh Kenny three stick circle jerk over here, so <laughs> I'll be interested to see where Kenny and, and Charbonnet land in startups yeah. here. Uh, but mm-hmm. Charbonnet seems like he's maybe sticking around back half of the first, top of the second here, which I don't I don't hate yeah, it. Yeah, I think it's fair. Yeah, I don't hate it. Um I I again big. I think he's a better player than the other two running backs and um I don't know. I'm just not a fan of the first round tight end. Yeah. I'm I'm, a, I'm, I'm not a, either, but Kincaid seems like a Sure. I'm okay with you passing. Kincaid on. was my tight end one, so that's I'm. I, if you want to pass on Mayer at the end of the first year, that's fine. Um, all the rest of them for sure, um, and then Laporta would kind of slide in there for me. Uh, yeah. But uh, that's that's fine. Who, who, wh- where are you at, uh, Jay? Wing? So I'm up next. I'm gonna take a chain. Really? Sure. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. God landing spot. I really liked him. I wish you would stop saying that. Why? It worst. is. It's the worst. On oh, God. <laughs> no cap. On fleek landing spot? Was just you rather a, just that? a good landing spot. No, like the fleek landing spot. Like like the best. With with McDaniels over there just scheming him up, scheming him into space. You don't know what's going to happen over there. You can't Anyways, fucking, don't have to worry. You can't guard him. <laughs> you can't guard him. You got these other freaks on the outside you got to worry about. All can't guard sudden, Devin. A-Chain's just running amok. So I'm going to I'm gonna have some fun five there. Five foot eight, 190 pounds of him. Yeah, I mean, nobody under that, no one in that weight's ever been any good. Oh, wait, I guess there has been a few. A couple. Um, so... Certainly could be a chain. He has the talent to do it. Could he be Gibbs too. He doesn't look like he's that small, right? He What's doesn't. Interesting. The two hundred pound was the threshold of Gibbs. We did yeah. at a one ninety nine. I, I, I read. I, I did read somewhere. I don't exactly remember where it was, uh, but that a chain was you know kept some weight pound on from, pound. from high school to college w- because he was a track star. Sure. And then and then you know in the last basically season he went from like basically like one eighty ish to 188 or maybe even sub a little bit. Yeah. And so, you know, you get another year of being in an NFL system in an NFL weight room. Yeah. Maybe you can get up to like 195. Maybe, I'm just busting your balls. Maybe I think you he's lose. a great player. I, 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 I kind of agree for the most part. And I didn't, he was kind of, he was, you know, alongside my rankings before the draft. I just, I couldn't put him anywhere. I didn't know yeah. what to do with him. You have to take your A chain off. You just move him to the side. Right. Um, but, you know, if he gains a little bit more mass and he has some speed to lose, like it's not like I don't want yeah. him to lose any speed, but he's fucking really fast in a straight line in general. Um, and yeah. for the people who say he's not like plus receiving, like I think he's or like outstanding receiver, like I think he's a pretty good receiver. Like I don't think he's like a slot receiver out there, yeah. but he, I think he could be like he's he's I mean, I remember athletic. watching if, the- you, if you want him to run routes, I'm sure he can fucking figure it out. Yeah. Uh, and he's he there. He's. He was effective in his own run scheme last year or when they ran zone runs. This is a zone heavy scheme. He can he can hit that hole and go. Um, and I, I just speed, speed, speed. And that's kind of what you're getting here. And I'm not afraid of I'm, I'm there's certain coaches that would have that would have basically taken a chain off my list. And McDaniels not one certainly of them, not one of them. No, that, that, that definitely did not. Um, no. So. All right. Am I up? Yep. I'll take uh, I'll take. Mm. I kind of want Mayer here, uh, but I'm going to take Kendra Miller next. I, Did you take Kendra over H Han? I, I think I think and I had get, uh, Charbonnet by himself in tier three. Now I'd probably put uh, Kendra and A Chain in tier three. Agreed. Um, and I'd slide Charbonnet probably below those guys. I disagree. I know because yeah. you obviously just took <laughs> um, just because you know. Neither one of those. I don't exactly know what's going to play out with a chain, um, but you know, I think Kenny Walker is the better running back of those two of Charbonnet and and uh, oh, Kenneth God. Walker. So I, I do, I do think you know, no cap. We'll kind of see what happens there, but you know, I, I think it'll be Kenny Walker to lead and then Charbonnet to kind of follow and in injuries and whatnot. Yeah. Um. So demotes it a little bit. A chain 
we don't not 100 percent sure so you could kind of make a case that maybe charbonnet and h-chain end up with the same amount of carries but who do you think will be more efficient with those carries in the system that they run probably a-chain um but that's a lot of speculation so um i get it but i'll, I'll take kendra i like alvin kamara's in in a, in a heap of trouble yeah um, we don't exactly know what's going to happen um, and other than that, who do they really have? Jamal Williams. Um, yeah. <laughs> Just a touchdown leader from right. last year. Which I think Jamal Williams is is a is a fun guy and a and an okay player, but that's about it. Yeah, he's like a mushroom, I, I just a fun I think guy. I think that he scored a bunch of touchdowns last year. People brought 17. him back and really made him into this folk hero when nobody wanted a fucking single thing to do with him. I Jamal think Williams. I think people like his personality, which sure. is extremely I, I, right. fair. And I sure. But I mean I'm I just don't he, he fucks a, around. He will fuck your fantasy day up with yeah. with you know, Let's just his, start him. His antics. Uh but you know, I'm not worried about Jamal Williams all that much. No, especially um, not in the long term. And, Maybe for this year. And but we not don't know exactly term. what's gonna happen with uh Kamara. Alvin Kamara, yeah. So I love Kendra Miller. Um and I, I think that I think it's gonna be I think he's got some of those traits that are sort of undeniable. So when he's on the field, I like the way he operates. I think he's also a plus pass catcher. He can be your workhorse if you want him to. Yeah. Um, and I, I really, really I think like that, that I think there's a case to be made of Kendry being in the top over Charbonnet, but I don't. I, it's I'm still uh, putting a chain at the bottom of that tier. Yeah. Fair enough. Sizest. All right. He's a running back. That's fine. I'm taking Mayer because. Yeah. You take you're you're taking Mayer. Yeah. I love it. He went to he went to a god landing spot. <laughs> oh, I hate when you say that. <laughs> I mean, sounds. I mean, who did? I mean, Vegas has what? Austin Hooper. Hooper. And um, uh, who's the other guy from the oh, Bucks? OJ OJ Howard. OJ Howard. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm. I think that's a. I think that's the the pick right there. Um, or, I was thinking somebody else, but I'm not saying who. If How about want, that 40, though, you know? If you want to go a little earlier than him, that's fine. Um, or a I don't little care earlier on him, that's yeah. fine. I'd be fine anywhere yeah, from I could 112 see his, to, yep, to yep. where you took him. Totally agree. All right, who's up? Is it already back to it's me? Mr. Wayne. Good good fit with the Raiders there, I think. The uh, Raiders. You know, scheme him up. Great, good, already a good blocker. Can kind of do it all. Yeah. And uh, the way they run their passing concepts. Yeah, should be on the field early. He's good in zone and not great in man, I think, is, is the... Yeah, is but the, with Howard and um, uh, Hooper there, he, he'll be asked to block because they can't. Yeah. Actually, Howard's not a bad blocker. Sorry. Go ahead. I don't think Hooper's a bad blocker either. Go ahead. Jay. I figured man. you needed a minute to decide who you want because this is like pulling teeth for you. <laughs> it is. This it is, is an easy pick for me, but that's just me. Oh, yeah. Well, I, he didn't even cross my mind here. Yeah, that's not who I'm talking about taking. It's not? Nope. Oh, man. It's it's between Spears and Mims and Rice, I think. I think those are the guys that I really want. I guess, I guess I'll take... Uh, let's go Marvin Mims. Mims? Yeah. Mims. This is why. This is why. This is why I'm hot. I like. I like him. I liked him pre-draft, and I think he got a pretty good landing spot. <laughs> Great coach. DC quarterback on the up. Yeah. Let me get Marvin. The analytics love him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's uh, very productive and young, so that's uh, we like those analytics. Is that what you proud of yourself that's there? What, no, that's what. Uh, who's the dude from ESPN with the? Eddie Munster here. <laughs> Mel Kuyper. Mel Kuyper. That's what he says? Yeah. <laughs> the same guy. He needs to shave that shit off. That thing's <laughs> receded back. The same guy who eats fucking three pumpkin pies a week. Good for him. <laughs> Keeping pumpkin pies alive. They, they shouldn't be just. He's got something weird going on. Huh? Did we have this conversation recently? I think so. All right. Well, no, it was a bottom, you. wet bottom uh, peak pit. Shoe fly pie. Shoe fly Casey, on to you. I think it's your pick. Nope. It's no, pick. it's you. All right. So you took Mims. Let's see. All right. Um, I am between Spears and Laporta here. I'm going to take Laporta, tight end premium here. Good capital. The what, Going back and looking at a little Laporta, it's really good, really good against man. Um, a lot of the analytics are, are really good on him as far as great landing spot well great landing spot and and you know it's just wide open for targets immediately um for the tight end position that is for the tight end position you're correct um so you know i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and grab the tight end here it's it's a 
coin coin flip between Spears and Laporta. I think what does drive me a little closer to Laporta over Spears is obviously the tight end premium because if it wasn't, it would be Spears all day. Um, and mm. who, who there mm. could be a decent amount of volume for Laporta and really athletic. And, and, and again, there's a, a lot of really good stats to back up. I don't have them in front of me right now, um, but I could find them. Spears coming in with a little bit of a question mark there. Help so you can wise. Top, top, stop talking about Spears because I'm not taking him. That's fine. I know. I know. I'm, I'm explaining to you why I took didn't take Spears over and I took Laporta. Just a little bit of the injury concern of having double ACLs here and, and a healthy Laporta and a tight end premium in a position that I covet in tight end premium. Yeah. Um, the, the tight end, which I don't mind taking shots on. I think I think Spears is w- would be right up in there in that in that tier three tier four for for me for my running back tiers hmm. so hmm. agreed <laughs> hmm. who's next i'm gonna take spears after you take hooker nope go on johnny mingo jonathan mingo somebody's gotta do it tell me about mingo i think mingo has a lot of upside his best football's ahead of him i love the landing spot for him as well too he's gonna have obviously he's gonna have Thielen there and chark but um I think the path for targets here one is pretty easy. Not overly worried about Terrace Marshall. I think that Mingo is a, a good player, and I think that he'll fit that system well as well too. So um, plays well over the middle. So Has Old Miss had good wide receivers come from them. Just one or two. He's uh, you handling scouting over there. <laughs> what, Demar- uh, Demarcus Lodge. What? Yeah. Um, how where? How much higher would you have taken Mingo? I was considering Mingo or Mayer. Okay. I'm not all the way there yet. I've got. An, I've started getting a little there on Mingo. I think two six is appropriate. Um, oh, I'm super happy with Mingo two yeah. six. I think that's. I, I, I might. I might still take. Uh, I'm taking probably taking Spears over him. Probably taking Laporta over him, like I just did. And yeah, um, I I I could. You can sell me on Laporta. I'm not there with Spears. Yeah, that's fine. Who's up? I'm up. I could easily take Hendon Hooker right here, uh, the quarterback. It's probably the right move. I'll take Spears. I really like Spears. It's hard to to not like Spears. Let me get rid of you, Jonathan Mingo. Get out of here. Uh, just yeah. I mean, I guess the ACLs are concerned. Hendon Hooker has an ACL too, but also playing quarterback. But whatever. It's completely different. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any problem with Tajay Spears' knees. No. When you watch him play. It's the, the pretty only- ridiculous. I don't know how you couldn't like him the only thing you're worried about is just long-term some sort of arthritis or something like that i mean obviously he could get hurt old todd Gurley. yeah but that was you know everyone likes to point to todd Gurley, but that's not all that fucking common Uh, yeah and i agreed yeah and they took him 81st overall so i think not yeah not not 10th where they took Gurley. they're just uh yeah but still third round is no 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 no, yeah it's fine yeah yeah it's fine it's it's, uh furthermore capital you're you know and Dude. I like that spot, you know. I love right. the spot. Like right. he, Henry is not going to be there forever, and he's he not. Can, he can sit there. Could be. And I mean, I, I don't. They've been trying to trade him already, but they, I guess they couldn't. And so, yeah, well, I mean, they're going to have to probably play him this year. But Spears can sit, and then yeah, next year wheels. Or Spears up. can get in there. Yeah, they don't, not like they have. Not that they're like. You know the pantry stuff with weapons over there. I mean, like, they, have, they have Hilliard and Hassan Hassan. <laughs> Spears um, and wide receiver wise, I think. Oh, they've got Burks. nothing. Kyle I Phillips mean, and Burks are about to have a ridiculous. And, uh, don't forget about Nicholas Westbrook Akeen. Yeah, and and Chig. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, I, I think I think Spears will see his way onto the field because they need another weapon and and to give you know break him in a little bit and give uh, Henry, a little, Henry a little breather, give yeah. you something different, different movement, different. They could be running the set. ball a lot this year. Yeah, for sure. Um, and you know Spears, you're, t- you're getting a guy mid second, or if if you like him a little more, like I do, you could say first half, like third half of the first, first third, third of the uh, second round here. And it's, I mean, how you guys are already nobody likes running backs anymore, and it's basically like you want three years out of them. So I mean, how much more do you want out of your running back anyway? So you, you know, if even if got to trade him before that second contract, even so if, even if he, about the knee? even if he does get hurt or wears down after. Or, or the second contract or whatever. I mean, like Which that's that second not, contract's worked out okay for a uh, decent amount of running backs, but whatever. Right. But I mean, you know, so it's, it's, I'm not worried necessarily. I took Laporta because he's, he's healthy and I don't, I'm not worried mm-hmm. about a 
you know, typical if it's non erosion. And not in tight end premium, I'm assuming you're taking spears. spears easily yeah, there for sure, easily. all okay. day long. So, all yeah. right, am I back up? Uh, yes. Easy. To me right here, it's probably between Josh Downs uh, and Rasheed Rice. No hooker um, consideration there. No, I'm going to wait for hooker uh, probably end of the second for me. Josh Downs, I feel like, is called a, a pretty decent landing spot. It's, it's really going to be dependent on the development of Richardson, whether or not this ends up being a good landing spot for him or not. But from the outside looking in, it, it theoretically should be a good landing spot for, for Josh Downs. And Rice, you know, it's clearly a good landing spot, but who, who's going to be their, their guy? Who's going to take it over? We don't really know. Um, and the, the track record hasn't been outstanding with – Kansas City and a receiver um yeah so I'll I guess I'll take Rice in this uh situation here but it could easily be Downs um I don't know if I've quite figured that out yet who I like more there but I I do like Rice I know some people don't we're just in a rookie draft he went 3-1 or I think there was a 213 for the loser winner's bracket loser or loser's bracket winner Mm, Um, that's what that is so they, I think that's where Rice just went, and you know, I really like him. I I liked what I saw. Now he was he had a broken toe, I think by the end of September, and then throughout most of the season there. So to clearly, and he, you didn't really hear about it, and he just soldiered on and played. And yeah, was he lacking a little bit in, in spots for sure? But I think I think there is a lot of explosion there and some good long speed. The reception perception on him wasn't good, but that's not what they do in their system. Um, they throw screens and they throw, you know, they, they only have a few routes in, in that TCU offense. It, so it's fun to read you reception that perception, but you going to try that school again? SMU. SMU. It's, it's three letter acronym. Yeah. Uh, in Texas. Right. Uh, you know, if if the reception perception was the end all be all, we wouldn't, none of us would need to look at receivers ever again. You know right. what I mean? So correct. Yeah. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll take Rice there. All right. I know you don't like down, so you're not going to take it. No, Mormon, you are up. Uh, I'm going to go a little atypical here. I'm going to take Luke Musgrave. Okay. You're just letting your boy fall, huh? I don't need to take him, so why would I draft him? I know you guys aren't going to take him, so I'm just going to take him at the end of the second, just knowing the room. All right, well, so you're taking Musgraves here. Yeah. All right, so I think it's a good. I think it's a great landing spot San, for him. Sands, a very knowing. athletic, very athletic player. Right. Are you you worried that they drafted two and that it's that the other one could out out duel him? Uh, who's the other one Kraft. drafted? It could go either way, but I'm gonna give it to the landing spot with Musgrave. Yeah, to the to the higher capital. Yeah, rather. yeah. I I didn't really consider Musgrave in those, but I guess I maybe should have. Uh, but I I just don't like Musgrave. As, I just not there's not all that much to go off of. Yeah, with that's Musgrave. the thing. It's a uh, projecting um, there. Yeah, so. I wasn't really. But I think he's going to be starting week one. And, most and likely. near the end of the second round here, where we are in tight end premium, I'm never going to be upset taking shit. The take super athletic. F- fucking take Jalen Hyatt here, and I wouldn't blame you. Yeah, I see. I'm. I'm not. Again, I'm just saying. At right, that point, I'm not right. going to argue with you. Where he Agreed. was, where he was going pre-draft was was uh, way too high for me. Egregious. Yeah. Shout out to you, John Bauer. Um, All right, but. If you didn't know the room, which that's part of knowing what you're doing in in a fantasy draft is knowing who likes what and where and how they operate, where would you take Roshan Johnson? Um, I'm considering him at taking him at the 2-1 of a draft, but but it's a 14-team league and it's skewed heavy towards running backs Okay, because, of the, because of the quarter point per carry. In this league, you wouldn't have taken him over Michael Mayer? No. And you wouldn't have taken him over... Mingo. Mingo. It's close. To, it's that's who I'm deciding probably between is Mingo or Roshan, but I'm gonna give the I'm gonna give this nod to the running back because of the quarter point per carry. I think he can. I think he's gonna immediately play on third downs, and I think he can take over that running back room by the end of the year. All right, but and you would have for sure taken him over Musgraves if you didn't. Yeah. If you weren't thinking that we weren't gonna take him. Yes. All right, Jason. Roshan yes. Johnson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, I keep wanting to take Hooker, but I guess I'm just going to let him slide here and take, take Josh Downs. It's good. I like the player. There's a, there's a lot, you know, I, it, it, I watched him like, 
a few days before the draft just to get get some some reps under my belt for Josh Downs and seem pretty polarizing. People either love him or really dislike him, and uh, I think. You know, he doesn't offer a ton after the catch, but I really liked his ability to go up and battle for the ball to, despite his size. A good contested catch rate. Pretty agile player. Seems to get open. Can I think, you know, there was one game where he was out wide and playing a lot. He did only play, like, I think 15% of the snaps. His last yeah, that's, year my wide, con- that's my concern with Downs. I think he's stuck to the slot, which is fine. fine but yeah, 210, and, and he could eat up catches in, at the, in the slot here. Good yeah. good landing spot in Indianapolis. They, they need somebody. I like Alec Pierce, and I love Pittman, but yeah. they need somebody else. And they got, yeah. you know, he can grow with Richardson, and we'll see how that goes. You know, it, it's a good value here at 210. 210 so, is fine. You yeah. know, at this point, take your guy. Yeah. All right, that would be Casey. Back to you. All right. Um, so you just took downs. Mm-hmm. Um, this is where Hooker starts to to play in for me. Um, Hooker, Cedric Tillman, Roshan Johnson, mm-hmm. um, all all playing in here. Any Hyatt thoughts here? Just curious. Not for me. Okay. Um, I, I don't. I do like where he's currently kind of going. We're in a rookie draft right now, and we're in the third, and he's not going. And and now I will start. Being down really? to take a shot on you. Okay. Him. All right. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and take Tank Bigsby here. Um, hmm. Hmm. Really like the player. Th- was was on a on a every list I could put him on pre-draft. Um, I think he's much better in the receiving game than people give him credit for. I think he's a nice complement to what uh, Et skill set is. It seems pretty clear to me that. Doug Peterson wants to have a two-man rotation. Yeah. Um, He's a better version of Jermichael Hasty. <laughs> He's a much better version of Jermichael Hasty. Um, you know, I, he, he gives you something different. He can bang if you want him to. He can make you miss. He's, like I said, good in, good in, the, uh, in the catch department, I think. Um, so I think those guys can, can share a backfield, and I think Tank can be very good and very useful throughout this season um, and a nice one-two punch for for the Jags and and I think I think we're liking that offense I think we're thinking that offense is going to take another step forward they're kind of loaded all around uh they took it then they took another tackle in the uh in the first round of the draft here so I like that they're you know kind of you know uh, what's the word I'm looking for solidifying the uh fortress of solitude for for T-Law there we saw big strides with a with an actual head coach uh, now we're getting into an s- actual head coach. We're getting into a second year of of that. Dougie and, P. And we're adding Calvin Ridley. And we're now we're adding Tank, who, you know, James Robinson was kind of hindering some ET there for a minute. And so I think, yeah. I think Big, Bigsby can get in there and not necessarily hinder. I think they can coexist. But, I, you know, I'm not scared to take Bigsby. Clayton Bigsby. Uh, that's right. They stink and we hate him. If you have hate in your heart, let it out. All right, but even so, more importantly, don't let the liberal media <laughs> that's right. tell you how, how to thank and feel. Who's up? I am. Just just mark me down for Roshan here. That's fine. Finally. Yeah. You, you should just let him slide, see when we'll take him. That would have been decent. No, decent little I got to take Roshan here. I can't, yeah, rep. Get, I can't let him get out of the second. He can't. <laughs> fucking wild. You let out him of just the chill there getting picked last. Nobody wants to. Why do you love him so much? He's a since 2015 he leads the leads Power Five conferences in missed tackles forced per carry, ahead of Bijan, ahead of Javante Williams. Small sample size. S- small-ish sample size. Oh, how many carries this man even ever have? Oh, you don't like attempts, do you? you but you got to do the math in your head. Yards per carry. The broad yards per carry and is different. divided by yards, and then you get your carries. I'm looking at my career carries. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know any of these. Either way, it doesn't. It's irrelevant. I was just making a joke because we had. I guess that was off camera where we were gathering stats for rookies, and you didn't have attempts in there. We were like, "Where's attempts?" And you were like, "Yeah, well, what do you care about attempts?" Three hundred ninety-two totals. Total. How many is he? Is he young or is he uh, four he, years? I don't know. It doesn't have his age on. No, like is he four year guy or is he? Uh, yeah, he's a four year guy. He can't be. Any he also came into he also came into Texas as a quarterback. Quarterback, yeah. A highly recruited quarterback at that. Hi, right, who's up? Oh, me, Jay. Let's do it. I've been saying it this whole time, and this is an easy pick. Hennon Hooker, hook. Sex worker. 
2023. Mm-hmm. I like Hendon Hooker, and I can get a quarterback in in the in three one. Who have you guys seen the hit rate for QBs, third round QBs since the turn of the century? It is not great. Yeah, whatever. If he wasn't coming off an ACL, he wouldn't have been a third round pick. I don't think, and a little bit old. But man, this guy old. can facilitate. He can make throws. He can make plays on the ground. Great landing spot for him to sit. You know, golf could be there another year. I th- you know, after this year, I just tra- hey, I just traded Jared Goff today. So you know, I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen. It's three one and it's super flex. No, you that's know? perfectly fine. No, you, you can use Hooker to to move up to another quarterback echelon. You know, yeah. you now have a quarterback, so that's like a quarterback yeah. bullet in your chamber that you can use to go get somebody. You know, Goff. I think he's gonna. You know, Goff and the Lions could do very big things this year. Yeah, know? I mean, here's and the thing. If the Lions make the playoffs, which they should, yeah, I can't what see. reason do the Lions have to move off of Goff? Right, right. So it might be a couple-year play here, you know? Yeah. But that's, that's, you just got him at 3-1, so who right, cares? Right. I, I, I'm just... I'm not, I wasn't saying He will be like 42 you. in two years when yeah. he finally gets to play. I think him and Goff are probably the same age at this point. Yeah. How old is one man? Can I pull that up? He's like 25. He's 25. Who's next? Me? Yep. All right. Um, this is probably between um, Tillman Reed. and Jaden Reed here for me. Um, Hyatt's starting to come into the consideration. Washington, you know, of course I like the specimen there at tight end, and I don't mind if, if you wanted to take all the rest of the tight ends for the, all of the rest of your picks here in the third round. Fine. All, fine with me. Um, Shoemaker, I can't, like I said, I haven't, there's only, I only have so much time in a day. Schoonmaker. Um, I, but I don't know that much about him, but it seems like... He went to Michigan. You're right. I know that he went that's, to Michigan. That's, that's, I know where, that he went that's to where it ends. Um, that's where it ends for me. Obviously got good capital, and that room is wide open, so he could he could go ahead and, and take that. Uh, but I'm going to take Jaden Reed here. I'm going to take the, the second round pick. Um, and now I've, I've gotten a little... I've, I've dove into him a little bit, and I, I've liked what I've seen off the rip. I've liked with some of the, the stats you can pair it with. And then, you know, we had Waldman on, Big fan of Jaden Reed, um, and I've seen a couple other guys who I really respect film-wise uh, really be on Jaden Reed, and the capital kind of matches in there. So uh, I'm going to take Reed here. All righty. Back to you, Foreman. Um, Back to you, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good show, guys. Uh, I got to fire you. <laughs> what? I got to fire you. Oh. <laughs> All right, who you got? Shout out to Did Roshan Roshan already go. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna take my boy Seti Tillman here. Got to. Could be a little. Could be a little rough first year or so, but you love some DPJ. I love me some DPJ. This hurts from DPJ. Yeah. But what are you gonna do? Act a fool. It's a good pick. I like it. By the way, I didn't realize that him and Hyatt got picked back to back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was looking at the draft guy, but like, huh, they got picked back to back. So what do you know? It's basically the same pick. <laughs> well, I'm up next. I'll take Hyatt. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's a pretty decent landing spot for him, you know, with that organization, the way they're going. They need somebody. He's fast. I like him. I liked what I saw from him and watching Tennessee play a lot of those big games just explosive you know i don't know how he's always so wide open never had anybody near him and never had a contested catch never had a contested target versus man coverage you know like it's a wild stat i don't know what's going on something but three four come on yeah all right i'm good case you're up um this is again you got the the tight ends here but i'm probably gonna pass even though I, i like them um It'd probably be, if I had to grab one here, it'd probably be uh, Schoonmaker, even though I don't know anything about him. <laughs> um, just like the idea of that he could be the starting tight end in, in Dallas. Um, could be a little by. I think this is a nice little by the window for me for Jake Ferguson. I thought it was um, Turd Ferguson. Who's got the sound on? Uh, I'm going to go. Me. This is this is between uh, Butte, Chase Brown, and Evans probably right here for me. I'm going to take Chase Brown. Knew it. Uh, at 3-5. Landing spot, 100%. I knew it. Landing spot's good, and I really like the player beforehand. I, you know, he he can give you workhorse, a workhorse like role. Is he the most powerful guy? No, but he's a very plus receiver, um, and he's great in the second level once he gets there. Um, and Mixon, we're not if really sure. Oh, uh, he'll get there. 
Uh, he's real fast, super athletic, rat score, true to roof. Um, true. <laughs> So a little I, Caribbean I like, fly here. Yeah, BMI too. I like I like Chase Brown a good bit. Now he's a little old, um, but you know, not a whole lot of competition in there. Um, and mixing, you know, volatile. I would say. <laughs> uh, so Chase Brown three five for me. All right, Mr. Mormon. Uh, I'm gonna go booty 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 rocking everywhere. Mm-hmm. Love the landing spot. If he can get it right between the ears, which he went to a place where it's not me, it's you. Mm. Mm. Seems like our IT guy. It's here. in my ears, though. Mm. So that And changed. this is muted. Mm. It, my sound's off. Like, I checked it already. So, so. anyways, so but Boutte, again, if he can get it right between the ears, if we can see that freshman form, um, this could be a slam dunk pick for the Pats. I agree. I don't. I, yeah, li- the I like Pats. Don't do good drafting wide receivers. No, but that but only first round wide receivers. Yeah, but it's only. late, and I think that was good value. And I think strong it's value. Pretty yeah. good value here. So you didn't have to take him with the one one. Uh, who you got? Back to me, mm-hmm. fuckers. You know the cursing really takes away from the content, guys. Okay, so if y'all could just settle down. Yeah, I got a real big news flash <laughs> for everybody. Like, do y'all do understand that the people that you listen to the radio? And on like NBC and whatever, and see, they can't swear. And as soon as they go on other podcasts, they um, that aren't yeah. network podcasts, they immediately start swearing. Yeah. So go listen to uh, Christian podcasting if that's what you want. <laughs> and Fuck out of here. <laughs> Who you got? I'll take Zach Evans. Yeah. Let's think, have some fun. Yeah, I agree. I, I mean, love the player. He fell. We did a whole uh, monologue at the end of the last show about later round running backs can still fucking be good. Right. And there's a well, slew of them. According to a chart that everybody likes to post about percentages, they can't they can't be good because the percentage is so low. But as we went over last week, there's right now there's currently like five or six RBs drafted in the fourth round or later who could easily be RB1s this year. Uh, so and one of them's fucking Damian Pierce. They sure is, and from Andre <laughs> and Pollard and um, draw, Eckler's an undrafted free agent. Um, That's a so. different draft. Anyway, uh, Zach Evans, I like the pick there. A six round. Now there's some certainly some guys with some better capital left out here um, that may have be able to have a better um, runway to success immediately but really mm-hmm. Evans isn't that behind anything they'd have to bring in something else to really bum Evans out and I think he's talented enough to uh, at least win a, a role on the field yeah I think uh, I think worst case scenario he's just as good as Kyron Williams <laughs> right he's better than Kyron Williams. <laughs> yeah um, all right is it back to me it's easy yes all right I'll take uh, I'll take I'll take the schooner here <laughs> who none of us know anything about <laughs> No, he went to Michigan. Um, <laughs> I think we established that. And he's uh, he's he should be first in line for Dallas to uh, to potentially six have six two fifty. You know, gonna have some good opportunity for targets and pretty pretty athletic. It's really tight end premium here. I have no problem with just at, after you get into the third round. If you just want to stab on tight ends, I'm fine with that. Love stabbing on tight ends. Mm-hmm. All right, who's next? Um, that would be moi, and I'm sticking to my board and Ass going. Ten year old boy. <laughs> <laughs> True lies. I'm going. Uh, I'm going. Eric Gray here mm. over a Banacanda. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. You just said <laughs> it. A Banacanda has a potential superstar in front of him on a second year contract, and Gray has. Um, Barkley, who's currently not signed his franchise tender yet. So, yeah. Tell me about Gray. Uh, explosive player. I think if Gray was a was a tenth of a second faster, he would have been a easily an easy a second round pick. But now I get a pie in the face. You do, and he also has a sex dungeon. What? <laughs> Fifty Shades of Gray doesn't that guy have like a Christian sex? Gray? Correct. Doesn't he have a sex dungeon? Correct. Somewhere? <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. I wasn't putting that together. Yeah, I wasn't either. Yeah. It took me a second. Gray. When you have to it. explain the joke, it's really not. It funny. really wasn't a joke. It was just meant to be in passing and kept it moving. I thought you knew some. I thought that he was. Yeah, like I thought Boutte, I thought him and Boutte like, were hanging out, <laughs> leaving the bar at nine to make the sex party by nine thirty. Was he could've there been. with the LSU coaches? Yeah. 
All right. You're up. You're up, big European. Boy. You're up. Oh, man. What are we doing here? Oh, God. End of the third. This is so hard. It is hard. <laughs> I think you should just trade all these players, all these picks. I mean, what, what's even going on? I'll, 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 I, I got a pick here. Oh, let's, do you? Let's see. I got to watch out for that strange. I'll take the tight end there to succeed Evan Ingram. Where did, and, you, where did uh, Brandon Trains go to school at? The Penn State University. <laughs> it's just Penn State, right? No, it's the Pennsylvania State University. I thought we are Penn State University. It's it's the Penn... See, we're not pretentious <laughs> and have to say the in front of it because we're not fucking douchebags. Is it not copyrighted? They, they tried not. to. They tried to, but Language. they got shut down. <laughs> <laughs> they got freaking shut down. I don't trust anybody who doesn't swear, so... Yeah. <laughs> When we get the second round tied in in the, th- I don't, the third th- th- to now, a Now, I don't really under... I was going to take Strange with my next pick, but I don't really understand why he was taken in the second round. Yeah, we've been over it a few times here. A lot of move up from the uh, from the from whoever the tight end coach... Trevor likes whatever, his tight end. And they, they he yeah. said that well, he's special... Well, I think the tight, end coach, yada, at, yada, the tight yada. end coach at Jacksonville was the tight end coach at Penn State. Yes, correct. We figured that out. Uh, okay. Was that, was that... Did that happen on Sunday? I don't know, but we we just we got to the bottom of it. He did a great job. All right, am I up next? Yes. yes. All right, I'll take I'll take uh, I'll take the shot on Washington here at the end of the third round. It was kind of a value pick for them. I think you could have take you could take a shot on Michael Wilson here if you really wanted to. Um, you know, he he got some okay capital. They're they're wide open, kind of in the receiver room. We're hoping Rondell Moore really steps up. I like the idea of buying Rondell Moore. We know Hollywood Browns a good receiver other than that i mean nuke nukes should i stay or should i go now i think they just can't find a trade partner right now um and i've read something that the, the nfl was ba- they're just that all the other teams think they're just going to end up cutting hopkins hmm. um so they don't want to really trade anything i don't know how that true that is now nuke says i don't know who said i was getting traded but um and really the other one on here for me i like the idea of a band of candy here just in case you don't really know kind of what could happen um and then uh Tank Dell would be another shot mm-hmm. for me right here. Big time shot. I think Phil, like he's got a he's got a path to wide open opportunities. Yep. Um and yeah, he's slight and undersized, but man, he's he's really strong in just about every other category. Yep. And that's I'm gonna take Tank Dell. All right, nice. Based on what glad we said that. Glad we squeezed him into the third round there. I because like that. of the route running ability and just the wide openness of the Texans wide receiver room. Not a sizest. They said nope. they said that that's that's who CJ Stroud wanted that they like he was hmm. he was that was like his that hmm. was the, he said go get Interesting. go get me Tank Dell so what's huh. his what's his real name they said it on the they said it on oh, the draft I don't know, but Jason you you you're up yeah yeah I always get confused because it's like Anthony maybe or Nathaniel no. Nathaniel it's close yeah because we were because we were arguing about that when I we were, I was over at your house that was Juice Scruggs yeah I thought that was his legal first name shout out to Juice Scruggs. I'll take a band of candy. You know, I probably have Reese Hall, so. Juice Scruggs' real name is Frederick Henry Juice Scruggs. Yeah. The boys know how to draft running backs. Anyone that came from the shore, McVay, Shanahan. Yeah, except for that Michael Carter guy. Good luck drafting fourth round running backs, you idiots. <laughs> Let me get a band of candy. I like them. How do you feel about Bam after them drafting, drafting a band of candy? I mean, he was free. What, if he, yeah, literally. He we, was free. I think we all said if you could get like a third form, you probably should. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, agreed. We turned that into some money if you were listening to us, and you got him. We were, you got free money if you were listening to us, and we also said the right thing to get rid of him. So, I mean, yeah. You know, I'm not married to Bam. I just he's a good player. They didn't, they have a stable. They like running backs. They yeah. know how to fucking pick them. All these running backs got shoved down. Like you had two first rounders. Well, Charbonnet was a second rounder, and then, you know, it was just not too many third rounders, one fourth rounder. Like, just we all thought this was a great class and a deep class, but they got shoved down there at the end. Yeah, yep. I think I think a lot of them went to some bad landing spots, too. I think that was part of it as well. Or if they went to a decent landing spot, it was as a UDFA or very late. 
I mean, Miller to the Saints, I like that. Spears to the Tennessee, I like that. Tank, you know, not not the best landing spot yeah. for him. Roshan, Evans, to, Evans, not the worst. No, yeah, Evans, pretty good. Chase Brown, they pretty good. They weren't the god landing spots that we were hoping for. I don't know. There, there was too many god <laughs> running back landing spots. I mean, I mean, Tampa was looking pretty good. <laughs> Dallas was looking pretty good. Yeah, for uh, a high guy. Yeah. For like yeah, a not for guy. A, talk about a sizest. Who are you guys talking about? <laughs> Zeke. How high are you on Le'Veon Bell? Yeah. <laughs> I had me. I had. I had a bong sound in there, and Big Co made me take it out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. That was back in our sound class. My dad days. might listen to this. <laughs> Just ripping the bubbler. No, he won't. <laughs> you're not hitting the bubbler. Right. <laughs> Can't associate though. Casey, you're up. All right. So this is. Uh, I'm going to take Kraft here. Uh, yep. I'm going to stab on the tight ends. Uh, but uh, at any point here in the fourth round, Stabbing on tight ends. Um, I could take Xavier Hutchinson without any problem. Um, so, right. Once Tank Dell goes, then it's like, <laughs> yeah, feels better to take. Yeah, I'll, 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 if I can get in the fourth round and trade in and grab Tank and Hutchinson, I'm fine with that. Uh, I like I like both of those stabs. Um, and then, but I'm going to take Kraft here. All right. Foreman. Let's bang these out. Oof. Uh, give me Dwayne McBride. Nice. Good little landing spot there. Yep. You know, might have to wait a minute, but yep, they did resign Madison. Madison, although I, I don't know how long. Year, I think it was a one-year deal. Yeah, or a short deal. All right, I'll take Michael Wilson. I'll take the guy. I know nothing about him. I don't really honest. either. I know he's 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 a bigger guy compared he, to the rest of these wide receivers got in a this day class. Two, got day two capital, third round pick. Maybe he's nukes there. Maybe he's not. He probably isn't there past another season. Yeah. Uh, although I think that contract is absolutely ridiculous. So there's a, a yeah, large amount of dead cap uh, towards the end of that, that thing, which is still rolling. But, you know, fourth round, third round player. Like, let's go. Matt? It's Casey, it's you. You're, oh, it's me. You're at, it's, it's the same. Oh, you, you, after you, me. Took, you took McBride. All I forgot. Right. Yep. I forgot about no. McBride. Uh, I'll take, uh, like I said, I'll take Xavier Hutchinson here. No problem with yeah. that. I, I really like Xavier. Wish he would have got a little bit better draft capital, uh, but he lands in a spot where he can carve out a role. Um, they got kind of a fun, young group of wide receivers here. Uh, I, I would assume that at some point, maybe some other alpha comes in and, and is, becomes their bona fide number one. Um, maybe it's Hutchinson. Uh, maybe it's Nico, maybe it's Tank. Uh, it's probably not going to be Tank, but not that he can't. But it's just he's not that. You know what I mean when you think about that bona fide number one. Um, you know, but Hutchinson great in the intermediates, uh, great in the screen game, good good blocker. Uh, when we initially talked about Hutchinson, I said this would be a great pick for the Niners because he's he's a good blocker. Well, mm -hmm. guess what? A guy in that sort of realm and scheme picked up Hutchinson, good blocker in the sixth. Uh, got good size, good speed, great on play action, um, and really good in the intermediates. Uh, so Hutchinson for me right there. All right, Matt. Uh, I'll go Evan Hall here. Oh. Evan Hall. Could All right. see some rotational work on third down. It could be the I new Nadine Hines there. Yeah, I think he's just as good as anything they have there already. So, sure. Um, I'll take a stab with him in the middle of the fourth round. Yeah, I think that's a nice pick. I'll take Stetson Bennett. I was considering Bennett there. Steady I was Benny. really considering Bennett there. All Benny! Right. Not All right. quite the same. I think you could, you could uh, if you're a Deshaun Watson owner, you could stab on DTR here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but Yeah, for sure. I, I, like, I like Bennett, man. He's a gamer. He, he has some run it, running ability. Underrated athleticism. For sure. He's putting guys, some guys on some skates out there. And but can place the ball well. I like I like it, and I like the landing spot. Like, yeah, what's his, uh, your boy Stafford isn't gonna be there forever. They're rebuilding at late round quarterbacks. So what do you you know? Yeah, probably not gonna work it's out. A fourth round pick. Right? Why does it matter? Probably not gonna yeah. work out. But in the middle of the late fourth, yeah, and a guy who, he's he, he's the backup. He's the only other thing they have on the roster right now. He's the backup. You could he could definitely be plugged. You could definitely be plugging Stetson Bennett at yeah. some point this year. And with this Stafford's year in your, injury history mm -hmm. in the in the league we have. Stafford, we're going to be drafting Stetson Bennett. Word. I'm in. Let's do it. Word. <laughs> Word to Big Bird. Casey, I just pick. You're back up. I'm back up. Uh, so I could I could take uh, another shot on Will Mallory here. Um, I could take uh, a shot on 
um, Chris Rodriguez here and, and see if that turns into anything. I like Tyler Scott here, Deuce Vaughn. Uh, I'm going to take the undrafted free agent, Sean Tucker. I'm going to just take the shot here in the fourth round. Uh, Tampa, not a whole lot of competition there in the running back room. My a little sources, weird medical thing. But. My sources say the medical issue was a heart-related issue. Right, right. So... Um, a bit worrisome with the when, a, when it's with care, the old He cares ticker. too much. <laughs> yeah, he just cares too much. I'm going to take Tucker there. It's his fourth round. I think it's a shot that if 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 he can get cleared and be right, which I think if they we just have pretended they, that Tampa took him in the third, then right. I think that he he has been cleared for football stuff activities. Um, yeah, so I'll take Tucker there, but there there are still some some shots. Now, did this was this the Twitter pts that knew about this heart condition or it was like no the teams that, that was it that was all the it was from the medical rejects yeah, that, that, yeah i'm fucking around well, of course it wasn't twitter pts yeah, that no, know anything it was that the teams don't that, that, <laughs> that came from the big time sources um so big time source. who you up who you got? uh i'm gonna go a little atypical here i'm gonna get real freaky on us here i'm gonna go justin shorter mm, you've been liking a little shorter Former top 10 recruit. Mm-hmm. What, anything else? Got size. He's got all. He plays all of 6'3". Um, again, he's What's a former. 6'4", 223. That's top a, 10. Former top 10 recruit. Didn't pan out the way he should have. No Parker Washington there? I'm going upside here. Okay. Why did Jacksonville draft another fucking slot wide receiver? I don't Why know. Not? It was kind of redundant. Extremely redundant. Why not? And I'm not drafting Parker with my next pick either, so. All right. Is it me? Yep. It's been the same. <laughs> Let me get, uh, I'll take Parker Washington. Why, why are you not taking Parker Washington, the Penn State guy? You don't like him? I love Parker Washington. I hate the landing spot. Man, it's, this is a four, it's 410. You like the player? Take him. I've got another player I like over Parker Washington. This man, some of Penn State guys, huge chubs. Other Penn State guys, sorry, don't I don't like, want anything to do with them. Sorry, I like the good ones. Uh, John <laughs> Dotson is pretty fucking good. You didn't want anything to do with him. You were like, he's not any good. You hated him. I didn't understand it. I didn't and all hate he did him. Was I scored a touchdown every time he played. I didn't hate him. I just thought not hot him as, as other people were. That's all. I didn't say but I, I don't. Him. I don't understand it. I didn't see. I haven't just, seen a ton just of Parker till, Washington. Just seen wait a little till bit. 2025. You're gonna fucking hate me. I don't have to wait till then. <laughs> <laughs> Who you got, Case? Um, I think again. I think you could take Tyler Scott here. I think you could take Deuce Vaughn here. I think you take um, Michael Scott. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking too. At Perry, not a not a C, terrible C. not a terrible shot here. Um, but I'm gonna stick to my uh, I'm gonna stick to my roots. I could go Will Mallory here, but I'm gonna take. Uh, it's your last pick. Can't yeah. only think back now. Taking care of Latow. It's a coin flip between uh, Mallory and um, drawing a blank here. I just had it pulled up. Uh, the San Fran tight end? No, the the damn it. What's uh, Hodgins? Higgins rather. Uh, Elijah Higgins, mm. uh, Miami drafted him mm -hmm. as a wide receiver. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to convert him to a tight end, and I, I can't, I can't stay away from those guys. I like those, <laughs> I like those receiver big guys. Going to be converted into something different. Is that why we like round the pick. King Butler so much? Um, <laughs> yeah, well, it went the other way for that one. <laughs> yeah. Um, but is that who you're taking? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take Higgins here just, just to put him on people's radars, put people on board. Uh, you know. The he's he's very athletic, and that's that's the game plan going in to uh, transition him to a tight end, which yeah. they don't have one really. Um, oh, six three. That's just barely made it. Right. If he was six two, no chance I he think, could ever I be think, good unless I think he's the six, best. Three might even be out too. I thought uh, it was six four. To be so, honest, so with maybe you. it's you know maybe maybe you should have taken Mallory here more of just want to put the name. height. I want to put this name out there and it sounds so stupid coming out of my mouth when I'm joking, but like <laughs> it's I'm very <laughs> interested and intrigued in this guy. You could probably most likely get him as an undrafted free Would agent. Would you say that you're after, very intrigued? See, see, very intrigued. <laughs> um you could probably get him after the draft. Um, and that box is probably gonna turn yellow, which is a tight end, which is why I'm taking him here, stab yeah. on tight end. I just I wouldn't I, they just keep Gisecki. Because Gasecki can't block anyone. 
Right. I, this I guy's going to come in and block I'm, people. I'm not, like, I'm not sure the degree of blocking here, but, you know, kind of got those wide receiver chops moving to tight end in this style. Yeah, of they don't want uh, the, their wide receiver three position is is wide open. It's it's a chain. <laughs> OK, anyways. All right. Wrap us up. I'm going 90s style here. We're going Puka. Nice. Like it. We're going Puka. Good. Good pull there. I think he's I'm glad he's on the board. Why 90 stop? I missed. I missed. Puka shell necklace. necklace. Hmm. Hmm. Casey got it. Yeah. That's a uh, uh, Ben Harper. No. Uh, who's the uh, Johnson? Jack Johnson. He was wearing them. He, I'm, I'm sure there's a chance that he. Yeah. Has Anyways, a, I think photographs. foot five. <laughs> I think uh, I think Puka's a better version of uh, Ben Skoranek. So I think that he could use sure. a lot in that system. So. Um, another former top recruit who just transferred and then didn't pan out. Thank God you guys didn't put together that Justin Shorter went to Penn State. But um, uh, yeah, I thought he went to Florida. He did. He transferred there from uh, Penn State. See, I don't know enough about him to know about his transfer history. <laughs> yeah, he was in the same class with Micah Parsons. Mm. All right. So I like I like I like that you threw Puka in there at the end. Uh, like I said, there's a yeah. couple more. I can't I can't do Mallory because I'm I'm big into to Jelani Woods. So yeah. Um, I I wouldn't hate drafting At Perry at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, DTR, especially for the um, uh, Watson owner there. Um, Wix, Wix could make it onto some boards. Wix, uh, yeah, the oh. guy from Virginia went to Green Bay. Green Bay, yeah. Um, and then there's Davis some, Allen, the another another Rams player there. There's some quarterbacks. They drafted him late, yeah. Darius Davis. Oh, if we were going, if we were going five, I was fucking taking Clifford. <laughs> <laughs> How did he get drafted? That is wild. Nobody wanted Deuce Vaughn. Yeah, it was wild. When it was I, when wild. That went off the board, I was like, fucking son of a. How's that guy in the pros? In the fifth <laughs> round, too. Like not even seventh. Nobody like, wanted any Coons. No. Coons to the Jets. No, I'd rather have. I, I think you pick him up as a free agent. Yeah, and hope that he. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather have Ruckert. Ooh, Frosty. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. I mean, Vaughn and Rodriguez could easily be taken. Sure, I, I, I mentioned them on the last pick yeah. or whatever, so yeah. for sure. Even a even a Raheem Jarrett stab. Sure. All right, appreciate y'all. $5 holler on Patreon. We're doing drafts. We got ADP. We're going to be doing live shows, all that kind of stuff. Trade advice, yada, yada, yada. We'll get back to that. We'll get Big Co. back on these mics for some trade advice. We got a uh, fourth member... I think uh, going to be joining us here on on some shows. Uh, been a patron for a while, and and uh, we're excited to shout out to Big D to uh, Derek. Have, have him in and and it, get him in the it, chat. Derek, yeah, that's his name. Yeah, yeah, Big hmm. D. His name's not Big. <laughs> <laughs> hey now, all right. <laughs> Football in the play. Be sure to tip your waitress and bartenders. Oh, I subscribe. Oh, dang it. Comment, five star reviews, all that jazz. iTunes, Spotify, baby. Hit that, tap that five stars. We appreciate y'all. We're going to maybe work on some new gear. So go buy the old gear and then we'll get some new gear. All right, it's in the bio. I can feel Holler. it in my plums. Let the boy watch. Peace. Also, Gabriel. <laughs>